Hello, I'm Andrew Cantor, the Editor-in-Chief of Mr. Watchmaster. Today I'm going to be speaking to John Van Steen, who is the CEO of Meister Singer. Before we get into the discussion, I'd like John just to introduce himself and tell us a bit about uh, his career and uh, thoughts about the future. Over to you, John. Okay, so I'm John Versteen. I am the CEO of, uh, of Meistersinger together with the, the uh, founder of the brand Manfred Brussler. Um, I'm now CEO of the brand uh, since uh, 2019, uh, but already working for Meistersinger as an, an independent agent in the Netherlands uh, since 2003 and then uh, moved on uh, as sales director in 2013. Um, I still have got my own uh, distribution company in the Netherlands, uh, where we have mainly uh, uh, the distribution rights of Meistersinger, but also some other brands. Excellent. Thank you, John. So can you tell me, how is business at the moment? Uh, for us, uh, business is quite well. Uh, looking at last year, last year we performed, uh, I think, better than the average in the, in the, in the business. Um, we did a minus of 15% uh, last year in, in 2020. Um, what normal in the business is, is was around 25% minus. Um, when we look at year to date so far, um, we are 20% ahead of last year. Uh, meaning that, um, and I, I think the, 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 the views for the rest of, of 2021 are positive. Um, so at the end, I expect that we will have at least the turnover of 2019 again, uh, but most likely uh, with a, a plus of around 5 to 10%. So overall, um, um, we are quite satisfied at the moment. Uh, the costs are a little bit lower uh, compared to 2019. Uh, we have our anniversary year this year, our 20th anniversary, and uh, we have some spectacular highlights, uh, uh, so, uh, spectacular novelties. Um, Excellent. So, so I think that, and that's, that's of course also working uh, uh, in terms of, 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 the, of the turnover. Yeah. So, you know, that to me, that, that sounds positive. I mean, given, you know, where we've been with uh, the pandemic and, you know, the, the issues around that, you know, I think that sounds super positive. So that, that's excellent. Especially because when you think of the fact that uh, um, our main markets are uh, Germany, uh, the Netherlands, mm -hmm. uh, Belgium and France, um, and they were almost uh, the, the, the first three months in a lockdown, in a complete mm. lockdown. Yeah. And um, uh, last year, that wasn't the case eh, because last year the lockdown only started in March. So uh, looking at that, uh, it, it can only be uh, um, even more positive. Exactly. Many parts of, of 2021. Exactly. So let, let's come on to talk about, you mentioned there's some spectacular novelties coming out. What, what are you currently working on at Meister Singer? Um, of course, we are now currently working on, on uh, actually tomorrow we have a meeting, a project meeting about uh, Novelties 2022. Uh, um, we are now full in speed of introducing uh, the Novelties 2021. Uh, we had a wonderful model called Bella Ora. That's, that's a sonari au passage. So that's, that's a watch which every hour there's a chime to, to, mm -hmm. to announce that hour. Uh, we will have, uh, or we introduced the stratoscope, which is our uh, big moon phase uh, watch. And uh, we will, um, I think in the beginning of June, there will be the UNOMAT. And the UNOMAT will be our daily beater. And, and the most spectacular project um, will be, I think, uh, I think for everybody, will be at the end of the year uh, where we will introduce the Planet Earth Watch. That's uh, a cooperation with the World Wildlife Fund. Wow, amazing. I mean, we know a lot about Meister Singer. It's a mm -hmm. fabulous company. As you say, it's been going 20 years, but can you tell us something that we may not know about the company? 
what you perhaps may not know about Meisterzinger is that we are selling the most precious watches in the world. Okay, why is that? <laughs> and, and, and you know that our price range is, let's say, from 1,000 euros up to 5,000. Mm -hmm. And still I'm saying that Meisterzinger is selling the most precious watches in the world. Mm -hmm. The first time I mentioned that, that sentence was in the Harrods showroom, the Rolex uh, uh, showroom at Harrods London. Oh, and I was okay. standing in the Rolex showroom, giving a training to the staff of Harrods. And uh, I, I mentioned that sentence and everybody was looking at me if I, if I were an idiot. <laughs> what is that guy telling us? He is selling watches of, let's say, 1,000 up to 5,000. And still he's mentioning he's selling the most precious watches in the world. And in the end, they understood it because on a Meistersinger, times seems to be passing by just a little bit slower. And everybody know what is the most precious we have, that is time. time is precious. So if you have a product where time seems to be passing by just a little bit slower, you have the most precious watch. Of course, that's that. with a blink of the eye, yeah. but it's, it's, it's the, the philosophy of the brand. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. We need to enjoy the moment. We don't need to rush, rush, rush. I think when, if, if, if Corona taught us one thing is that uh, time is precious. We have to enjoy every moment because it can be ending every, every single mm. moment. I love that, John. I think that's fabulous. So let's talk about yourself. You know, what watch do you wear? So at the moment, uh, I'm wearing uh, the Bellora. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's our, let's say, our anniversary uh, model, uh, where, where every hour is announced by a small thing. Mm. Uh, so that, that's, that's an old complication called Zonnerie au Passage. Yeah. Uh, um, um, my next watch, uh, I already know that will be the Unomat, uh, because uh, summer season is coming up. <laughs> so I, 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 I let, at least I hope weather will improve uh, over here in, in Western Europe. Yeah. Um, and uh, um, with that watch, uh, you can do everything. It's, it's anti-magnetic, it's 300 meters water resistant, crown protection. Uh, uh, so me and my wife bought a, a small boat. Uh, oh, so amazing. we are planning to, have, I'm from the Netherlands, I'm not yep. German. I'm okay. from the Netherlands, so close to my home. There's a lot of water. And, and uh, we, we, um, uh, we are thinking of, of spending a time there. And there, of course, you need a water resistant watch. Of course you do. That sounds fantastic. So mm -hmm. what, what watches do you desire? Which watch would you like to own? What would be the one watch you'd love to have? Um, it can be a Meister Singer, obvious, but it could be another brand. <laughs> an, an obvious answer uh, uh, is the next watch we are going to develop. Of course. So outside of Meistersinger. <laughs> so if, if, if you look outside of Meistersinger, there is, there is one watch I, uh, um, which is particularly special to me. Uh, and that's the Eberhard & Co. Chrono Quattro. Oh, okay, yeah, with and, the four dials. Why yeah. Is that, mm -hmm. yeah, why is that watch special? Because the brand is not known so mm. much in Western Europe. Of course, in Italy, it's huge. Uh, but why is it, is it special to me? Because that watch meant for me uh, uh, the breakthrough in the Netherlands uh, when I started my own company in 99. I started with the distribution of, of uh, among uh, other brands, also with Eberhard. So my singer was even not founded wow. at that time. Mm -hmm. And in 2001, so the year Meistersinger was founded, Ebrat and Co introduced the Corona Quattro. And that meant for me as, as, as a business guy, uh, the breakthrough on the Dutch watch market. So for that reason, that watch mm. uh, is very special to me. Very interesting. And, and, and often that's the way. It's, it's about that personal connection, isn't it? It's about that personal story and the reason is, is clear. It's all about the emotion. Mm, absolutely. We, so, we, we are selling something, Andrew, 
which nobody needs, <laughs> but everybody wants. Because it's, it's, it's a way of, of rewarding yourself. It's a way of uh, showing appreciation, either if you want to talk about a watch or you talk about jewelry. Mm. It's about sharing emotion, emotions. Yeah, it's also an expression, isn't it? It's expressing yourself in that respect. Absolutely, absolutely. It's, uh, you, 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 can, you can express yourself with your clothing, mm -hmm. but also with jewelry and also with watches. Yeah, perfect. So what do you like best about the watch business? Um, I think the best thing I like uh, about the watch business is, is the personal connection. It's about uh, giving color to life. Mm. Mm. I think that, that's, that's the, uh, um, uh, when you give color to life, uh, um, it's, it's giving you a, a sense of satisfaction. Yeah, and I think, you know, given the fact that, you know, we can't do a lot of this physically now, do you think that's had an impact on on the business per se? Yes, of course, uh, because when you look at the retailer, um, if um, I, I personally, or I need not, I personally, we as Meisterzing strongly believe in a very strong cooperation between offline and online retail, uh, uh, meaning every consumer is starting online with his search uh, uh, for for jewelry or for some uh, for watches, but the main part will be finished offline. So at 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 the, at the retail uh, um, on the street, and um, when you talk to retailers, you hear that that uh, when shops are closed when. Uh, restaurants are closed when uh, coffee shops are closed. Um, um, people now go to a retail shop and buy a watch or buy a jewelry because there is an occasion. Yeah. But uh, jewelry and, 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 and watches is also about emotion. And, and, and you want to celebrate something. Mm. And if you want to celebrate something, you, you don't want to go to a sh shop and then buy and then leave for home. Mm -hmm. No, the whole day is an experience. Yeah, yeah. So, and I think that's that's for shopping street. That that will be the essential part for surviving, mm. uh, because there will change. There will be changement uh, in yeah. in our business. Yeah. But I think shopping streets can uh, uh, survive by by bringing the emotion uh, back the, the the experience yeah exactly and that shared experience is really important so let's yeah. move on to the the things you don't like about the watch business um what i don't like is is the is is uh, the selfiness uh what i don't like is is when brands uh, are uh, become big based on the support of retailers mm -hmm. And then decide suddenly, okay, I'll start a mono brand boutique. Uh, 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 I'm not against mono brand boutiques. Eh? Don't understand me wrong, mm -hmm. uh, um, but not globally. I think every brand needs a, a mono brand boutique to express uh, 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 how they are. But uh, a lot of brands are now uh, um, pushing away the retailers uh, and the same retailers which make them big. Uh, and that's something I don't like about the business because if you have grow together to a certain level, uh, you also have to support one another. Yeah, yeah. And 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 I, for me, for me personally, I think the, those brands are making a big mistake mm. uh, because in the end, uh, uh, a mono brand boutique uh, full of watches uh, have has no re uh, jewelry. Mm. And the potential customer of them, of watches, uh, uh, is mostly married, is buying jewelry for his wife, and then is getting in touch with other brands. Mm. Mm. So th I think that's a, that's a, a very uh, uh, high risk they take. Mm. But okay, uh, that's that's also for us uh, yeah. as a small small brand, uh, um, is is an opportunity. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So they're potentially missing out on uh, you know additional revenue. In that respect on the long term on the long term i think yes and that that's giving uh, opportunities for smaller brands like like us uh, uh, so perhaps it can it can work 
perfectly next to the, next to each other. Eh? Mm. It can be in, in that we, if if we are sitting next to each other, uh, or hopefully face to face again yeah. uh, in 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 a, a couple of years, that exactly. uh, that we say, oh, it's working out. There, yeah. there are mono brand boutiques of the of the, the big brands, and there are retailers with with high end jewelry, mm. uh, with with uh, other brands, multiple brands. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah. So look, you know, we know you're going to spend a bit of time on your boat, which is great. Um, okay. But from a business perspective, what what's next on the horizon? I know you've got your 20, 20 year anniversary. You're now looking at twenty twenty two novelties. What's yeah. what's the next uh, thing on the horizon for you? So I think the, 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 the biggest thing on the horizon uh, uh, will be, um, I think, for 90% sure it will be 2021, mm -hmm. but it, there is a small chance that we have to skip it to 2022, and that's the Planet Earth Watch, uh, uh, where we have a cooperation with World Wildlife Fund, which, which is rare. Uh, in the sense of that a, uh, a big organization like WWF is cooperating with a small brand like Meisersinger. Yeah. Uh, but they found the project uh, so interesting that they said, okay, we want to go ahead with it. Uh, also because uh, it's for us the first step into a, a more sustainable company. Uh, we will, for example, uh, on this watch, we will have a vegan strap. Great. So no leather is involved. Wow. The, the, the packaging will be fully recyclable. And 10% uh, um, of, the, of, the, of the value of the watch is going to uh, the goods uh, uh, of the WWF. Oh, excellent. So, and I think that's, that's uh, um, very important because every company, every brand, well, I think every company has the responsibility for the future. Uh, because COVID, in, in, in the sense of the biggest problem we have, COVID was just like that. Uh, because the biggest problem we will have is, is, is the environmental uh, uh, theme we have. Mm. Yeah. And, and if you look outside, you, you won't think about it uh, because there was a lot of water and there was, uh, the temperatures are not high. Mm. But uh, the earth is, is warming up and, and yeah. we, knew, we need to act now. Uh, so every company, in, in our opinion, has this uh, responsibility. It's very refreshing to hear, and you're absolutely right. And I think that's, uh, you know, you should be applauded for taking that that uh, route, which is and, and there are there are more companies, eh, Andrew. Uh, for example, when when you look at an IWC with mm. the whole manufacturing, which is uh, uh, sustainable, uh, mm. they introduced a strap made out of paper. Uh, uh, Monden, uh, who is 100% sustainable, they are further than, than we are yeah. uh, in that sense. But we are, everybody needs to work on that team. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, also because the consumer is demanding it. Eh? Yeah. Absolutely. The, the, the consumer from tomorrow is demanding that you, as a company, that you are sustainable. That yeah. you take your responsibility. I think that's only a good part because uh, if we continue like we did uh, for decades, mm. uh, it won't last long. Exactly. So and 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 uh, money is not everything. Eh? That's a lovely way to finish. I think, John. Money is not everything. Right. Uh, right. But you know, I think you're. You know, absolutely right in terms of we've got to listen to the customer, listen to the consumer and uh you know be proactive in in the steps we're taking and it's great to hear that meister singer you know are taking those positive steps so absolutely, absolutely. thank you very much it's been a, a really fascinating discussion all right and, um, i look forward to hearing more soon yeah, no, don't be uh, there will be more there will be more absolutely I, I think can't wait a unique a unique brand like meister singer there's always place for something unique uh, you, you have place for something big and the big mm -hmm. brands mm -hmm. but there is also place for for something which is which brings more which brings something different exactly which is super interesting yeah great thanks john all right so thank you very much thank you for watching mr watchmaster meets today i hope you enjoyed uh the discussion uh, with john van steen uh, if you want to ha see more great stories and see more videos, please visit us at www.mrwatchmaster.com.
Thanks for watching.